Hey, this is Monty with Build Brothers here at 9518 Oakville Court here in Spring Valley doing a digital um, inspection video. Um, what we're looking at is a flat concrete, concrete tile roof. Um, this house was built in 1986, um, so we could very well be looking at the original roof. Uh, with these inspection videos, we always like to start underneath the eaves uh, just to see what the wood is looking like. And we can see the fascia board, the rafter tails and the starter boards um, looking in decent condition. It actually looks like it's been painted over. Um, but uh, what we see here is no drip edge. Um, so normally uh, we do want to see drip edge um, anytime a rain uh, comes in, comes down the concrete tile. Um, it is going to go straight onto the fascia board. Um, this drip edge would prevent that from getting onto the fascia board and onto the gutter. Um, moving on. Something I wanted to point out here, uh, we see three uh, new, or excuse me, um, replacement tiles that have been um, put there in the past. And then moving on here, uh, we always like to check the chimneys uh, because these are vulnerable areas for um, rain and the weather. Um, it seems to be uh, flashed properly. We see the step flashings and we see the counter flashings um, with mastic applied on top. Um, but as of right now, this area right here is completely exposed to the elements. Um, so anytime that there is a rain, it is going straight down into that felt paper and to the wood decking. And again, there's another portion where that rain uh, can potentially be getting in there. There's a hole on one of these tiles. Um, going on over here, underneath this portion with the eave, um, I noticed that there is no tile right here. Um, so, and there's actually, uh, all this felt paper is ripped up. Um, so anytime that there's, you know, a strong wind with that rain, it's gonna carry straight into the wood decking. So there's nothing stopping that water from getting down into the wood decking. And you can see that the felt paper is actually ripped up. Um, so there is no tile protecting that as of now. Um, and then I went ahead and move this slip tile down just a little bit, just so you can see again um, on a different portion of the roof what the felt paper is looking at. Like. And it is actually crumbling. See, that is crumbling right in my hands. And again, that is a strong indicator that the product is past its life expectancy. Um, again, we can see more uh, replacement tiles that have been applied in the past, more um, mastic uh, for repair areas. And paint has actually been applied to these penetrations right here. Um, so moving on to the other side, this is gonna be the front side of the house. Um, we have about 20 solar panels that have been installed um, and appear to be installed correctly. Um, however, I did notice a wire sticking around right there. Uh, we don't want to see wires um, sticking down. Um, we could actually uh, put that back up underneath. Um, and then another exposed area to the rain, we see um, this cracked ridge cap. Um, you can see mastic has been applied right here, but um, that rain is going straight down into the wood decking. Um, so yeah, there are multiple uh, vulnerable spots where rain could potentially get down in there. My recommendation would be to do a full lift and reset um, and update the paper uh, with a synthetic underlayment. Um, to prevent any water damage um, from going in. Um, and then we are a, an, an elite uh, sun power dealer. So we are able to uh, remove and reinstall all of these panels um, included with the lift and reset. Um, but yeah, it's definitely time for an update. Uh, that ends my video inspection, thank you.